Welcome back guys to our little two part series that we've been running here for the couple of days. So today it's got a part two of the huge, huge storm that came in. Oh my goodness, we got a dump truck. We have a freight line dumper. I really, really like this thing. The one the best thing about it is it can hold a bunch of a bunch of stuff. So when we we're we're gonna be using this wood chipper, this wood grinder, whatever you guys wanna call it, it attaches it's got a trailer hitch right there, and we attach it to our freight liner. It's going to be super sick. We're here at the shop. Guys, there's the truck that we rescued from last episode here. Real quick, I want to turn up the game volume. Hopefully, it's not too loud. Just another 10% up. Should sound perfect. There we go. Beautiful. Let's hop in here, and we're going to get going, guys. Again, thanks so much for watching these videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. The Xbox giveaway is still live, so if you haven't entered make sure that you do link will be in the description like always i believe there's about one week left there's six days six days left on that xbox giveaway so make sure you enter it if you have not already okay guys so here is the plan everybody right here is where the storm hit the worst now this street is the street that we lost power on we have restored power Power is back here. Let's let's get the Freightliner into perfect position before I shut it off. I'm thinking we're going to go. Oh, crank it. Okay, we barely missed that light. Oh, my goodness. That was crazy. Okay. So, the stump grinder goes right here. So, why don't we pull in here just in case people want to drive by? But I think the road's actually closed. So, let's, so let's put on controls. Press O for pipe in. Okay, what's next after this? Uh, pipe in X to unfold that out and then I think we just press B to turn on wood crusher there we go beautiful let's can I turn the freight liner off it's like super loud and I don't want to waste any oh it actually turns it off okay the vehicle volume might be a little too loud okay so we have to have the freight liner running if we detach okay yep so we have to have the freight liner running that is a must let's also turn off master volume there we go perfect all right guys so here it is so the wind came in this direction and knocked down this tree i believe like two trees down there this tree and another tree right here that actually hit a vehicle which is terrible but we need to slowly and carefully get this stuff off so we have our gmc utility truck right here that's ready to go why can't i hop in it what is this okay there we go perfect we're in it let's get this set up so i can crawl right in it and then oh i should have brought i should have brought a partner the view on this is kind of messed up sometimes it like goes in and out okay perfect there we go drop this bucket down and i want to get it right on top of where we want to go let's zoom out here real quick all right, extend it out, push it back, extend it out, and we're going to see how close we can get to the power line without hitting it. I guess I can always just back up now that we have it at proper height. And beautiful. All right, so what we can do now... Oh, we're actually in the bucket. What I pressed E to, e to exit the truck, it shot me right to the bucket, which is awesome. Oh, we're out. Here, let's see if we'll do it again. Here, let's go. How do we... See, this truck's weird. Sometimes it doesn't let you enter it. Here, what you can always do... My favorite thing to enter vehicles... Is you can just go in here and then press enter. Alright, we're in the bucket again. Awesome. Can I not... I must not be able to reach it. So what we gotta do, guys... We gotta make the leap of faith. Okay, I'm gonna take a step back here. Run, jump. Okay, we made it. All right, let's trim some of this stuff up. Here is the power line. We got to be super duper careful. Oh, guys, we are literally walking on a tree at like a 45 degree angle. That's insane. There's our generator there. All right, so what we want to do, I need to actually hop down and get a wee bit closer. Okay, why won't it let me? That's so weird. The GMC doesn't let me enter it like kind of manually. Okay, lower it down. There we are. Okay, here we go, guys. I am in the bucket right here in the GMC Sierra 3500 utility truck. There we go. Okay, let's cut it down. Timber. 
Oh no, there she goes. Okay, she it might have hit. Oh, I think it did. It, it did hit the building, but no big deal. All right, let's start chopping this stuff up, and then we'll we'll kind of destroy it all. Perfect. Sounds good. We are going to chop all this up. Let's see if I can actually. Now I do need to be careful because guys, we have to be. We're going to be hand carrying it, which means it has to be a certain weight. As you could tell there, the object was too heavy when I lift it. But see, those are good. We just need to be kind of careful as the stump, as the trunk gets bigger, you have to make them shorter and shorter. Obviously, that's how it works. Okay. Easy, dude. The, the Freightliner is so loud. I want to make sure that it's not too loud for you guys. There we go. We'll turn it down some more. Oh, I thought I cut this. All right. There we go. I, I'm thinking we might need a... Yeah, we're going to back the grinder up, guys. So this is really cool. A lot of, like, whenever there's a disaster, these stump grinders turn out to be... not. I don't want to... I keep saying stump grinder. Just wood chippers turn out to be very, very useful. Oh, we're going over the tree. Come on, pull straight. Oh, is it caught on our... Don't hurt my dump truck. Even though we just hit that parked car, which is such a rookie mistake. All right. Boom. I want to go like right here or something. There we go. I like I like that spot. That's a good spot. All right. Let's see how this works real quick. So I don't waste a bunch of time. And then it like doesn't even work. You got to like set this. This thing is will be f good for these big logs. All right. Let's see it shoot out. Oh, maybe I have to click unload. So then I got to go. Hmm. Left control I. There it goes. Is it unloading? Am I? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. We have a slight problem. It didn't go in my. Don't. Oh. Did it go in? Yes. It went in. Okay, okay, okay. Um. So for some reason, we must have been turned like too sharp and it didn't pick up that my dump truck was there, which is just like an in-game problem. It's not too big a deal. Okay, yeah. No, we're, we might need to clean that up. Actually, I think we're going to go get a skid loader too to help with this stuff. And it's going to really help us grind this stuff so that we don't have to manually do it. I think I'm actually going to go get a skid loader with log forts. And then I'll actually a stump grinder so we can get the... Yes, there it is. Oh, thank goodness. It is not... So, oh, so yeah. Thank goodness. It's not going onto the ground. Awesome. We're actually filling this up. But the thing is, guys, look, that was just 2%. And those were pretty big logs. But we won't be running out of space in the Freightliner. So what I want to do real quick, guys, is we need to actually go get the skid loader. And we have a... We have a trailer, too. So here we go. Where is it at? I thought I just bought it. I did. Okay, so here's the shop. It's right. We're right here. So this turns out to be super good. There we go. Perfect. See, everything is so quiet compared to the Freightliner. See, I turned down. I turned down the volume for the Freightliner. And then all of a sudden, everything's so quiet. Because obviously, Freightliner is like super, super loud. All right, let's get in the 2016 LT. ZL. Or whatever you call this one. Z. This is Z, uh, ZLT. I forget what you call this model. Okay, there we go. We have the Eager Beaver. I'm just going to load up real quick. Okay, gates down. Awesome. Guys, this Eager Beaver is so nice. It's such a great, such a great vehicle. And it's really good for what we're about to do here. Skid loader stuff, you know, mowing. It's great for that. And just hauling utility vehicles. Oh. We, oh my goodness, we had so much weight in the front there. We'll make sure to keep the JCB over the wheels because then we don't, we aren't so like front heavy. All right, there we go. And let's put it right. There we are. Beautiful. Lift the gates up. We will be get going. It's honestly right. It Guys, we're already right here. I don't know why I loaded it up, but it, it, it's, it's kind of fun to load it up. It, it really is. Okay, so here we go. We're going to slide right in here. Floss that. And then I do want to get... I guess I'll leave the grinder. 
stump grinder for now. I just kind of want to get it out of here. Let's turn the JCB back on. We literally hauled, we hauled it like two feet, but it's kind of fun. And it, it's cool to use the trailer, the eager beaver, and have the Silverado do some hauling. There we go. Let's see if we still got the skills with this JCB. I remember we used to do so much logging, forestry. Oh my goodness, with this bad boy. It was so much fun. Okay. Here is, here, let's see if we can get the Sierra out of the way. We don't need it now that we got that bad boy down all right there we go let's oh we got a drop there's some it's kind of weird with the view on this thing all right let's take it back down there we go nice and steady we can't go too fast we'll put this back down as well and perfect just keep it out of the way for now so that we can get chip in is this Will this pole be in the way? It might. All right, so what we want to do here, guys, we'll open up the log forks. This is going to save us a lot of time, and, yeah, it's going to save us so much time. All right, so what we want to do is we want to open the mouth, go up a little, clamp down, and then curl it up and down, and then get it reset, and there it is. Okay, so now we have full control of this log, it is quite heavy for our equipment that we have here, but it should be good. We just need to go slow and steady. Very slow. See, guys, would we would we reverse? We Oh, it tips so we... Oh, we could do some cool, like, tricks with this and stuff. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. So, how do I keep it? We'll just keep it all the way down until we're ready to lift it up. Let me show you the strat that we're doing here. All right, we need to lift it up, back up just the hair. See, this is where when we have to maneuver it, like short little distances, it's kind of hard. All right, so what we want to do, open the mouth, and then we just want to dump it right here, and we'll get on the opposite end and actually lift it up from there. All right, we just want to set it down nice and steady like. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Pull out. Without hitting anything. Okay, so we kind of did move it a little when we pulled out there, which it, it looked like the, the chipper was just about to take it. There it goes. It's taking it. Let's go, guys. That is so sick. Oh, my goodness. This is so good. Look, now we're really filling up. Oh, is it not taking it anymore? Okay, we're going to have to, like, kind of force feed it with the JCB, which isn't a big deal. I thought we were going to have to do that anyway, but it was so cool. The chipper actually, like, the conveyor belt was able to lift it up, which is pretty insane. But now it's at too steep of an angle. So that's why I'm lifting it up right now and trying to push it in. There we go, stump grind or the chip, right? I keep saying stump grinder. It is grinding. Free grinder. Wood chipper. There we go. The, oh, I, I, I need to stay out of there. I can't get caught in it. Let's see what we're at. There we go. It's still unloading. This machine is awesome, guys. It works super good for larger trees. There was a smaller one, but it's more for like small, very small trees. In the description of it, it's like it can't handle big stuff. And I was like, no, that's not going to work for us. We need something that can take the big stuff. All right, let's get the JCB out of the way. We'll throw out the last few ones that we did cut up. And now there's like three more trees that we do have to clean up. Power is restored. It's 6 in the morning. So it is the day after the storm, which was yesterday, that we had to restore power. All right, there we go. Keep throwing that in. Now it's kind of clean up. I guess you could call it clean up. Our, our, pyre, our, our pile of wood chips might be there for a while. Um, I guess we could get a bucket for the JCB, but it's not too big a deal. This is what I hate about. Look at that. I can't even carry it. Oh, it's because it's so skinny. Then I can't see anything. Is it taking it? Oh, that was so lucky. But it's not shooting anything out. Oh, no. There's something wrong with the mod. 
Oh, there it goes. Okay. The This grinder here lifted all the way up to this red bar. I was like, what is going on? But anyway, perfect. Sounds good on that one. It looks good. What is that? Where's the stump actually at? So the tree fell from over here. Where would this? So the tree fell this way. I'm looking for the stump that the tree was on and I can't find it. What is this? Did it just disappear? Oh, well, it's, it's really not too big a deal. Um, okay. Here we go, everybody. We're going to hop in the freight liner. Move it over here. Slip right in between here. Crank it over. Barely miss the light trailer there. Oh, and then I think we're going to post up. Just literally in the middle of the road. Probably isn't good, but okay. So here we're going to... Here we go. We're going to run up here. Shave all of this off. And we're going to have to get the utility truck once again. Get on the power line. And cut this bad boy. Alright, there we go. Run down here. There's a little warpage to the tree. It's like kind of crooked. All right, G G GMC. Let's get this bucket truck up here. 3,500. All right, so we want to raise up the bucket back real nice and slow. We don't want to get too close to the power lines. That's where all the danger is at. Back up, back up. The are we at good height? See, this is where I need another person. But, oh well. We're in. There we go. We're right on up top. Let's turn a little steel for the win, baby. Let's get that change all running. Oh, there she goes. She flew over there. All right. See, now we can hop in here. All right. We'll leave that over there. And let's, let's see. Here, let's get this skinny one that we had to... It's too heavy. What is this? How is this... How is this like it's literally a pencil guys. How is this too heavy? But anyway, we just cut it in half and we should be able to throw it up in here There we go, it's grinding it up perfect. I love when you can just set it right on top and the conveyor belt will take it Oh my goodness. It is so nice. Okay There we go. We'll clean these little two pieces up that one gonna get in there too? It looks like it is. Oh no, we might get a clog. I think we got a clog, guys. Okay, I love how it, it's like actually a new tree now that it got, oh, there it goes. All right, maybe I'm thinking we cut this bad boy in half. It might be too much for the JCB in terms of turning. And you guys saw last time we had that huge tree. It kind of threw us around, not gonna lie. Maybe we could throw some weight on it. Oh, well. There we go. We don't really need the trailers anymore. That was just when we were working, but it, we should be able to get this done by the day. Or at least by lunchtime. That would be really cool. All right, drop it down. Close the arms. And there she is. These log forks are magic. And there you go. That's how you get a log in a JCB skid loader. That is the most efficient way, at least I have come to know and kind of like always done. All right, so same thing on this. We want to open the things, the things, the forks, and just kind of the teeth. There she goes. Get up in there, boy. Holy cow. Once again, the, the grinder, that the green, like spiky roller thingy moved up a bunch for it it must be able to adjust in terms of size of log and the angle at which the log is coming in which is really nice all right let's lift this up and drive straight there we go awesome it should be able to take the rest away and it is beautiful doesn't that just look nice that's just like a good good deal right there all right we can get the huds out of the way we don't need that much stuff there we go, because we know all this stuff by heart, which is awesome. All right, so once we get this log in here, we will go grab the stump grinder. We have another small tree to our right over there on the other side of the freight liner. And then we have, uh, I think, one that is larger than both the trees that we've done so far, which will give us a run for our money. All right, open the teeth. 
Come on, conveyor belt. We need you. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if I could just rest it right here and it would just take it? But no big deal. There we go. I think we're going to have to come in and push it because it, it's such a thick, kind of shorter log. A lot of weight on this bad boy. And there should be a lot of chips when we do this here. There we go. Lift it up and just literally force feeding it into the wood chipper works out perfect i like it i like it guys looks real nice what percent are we at oh that's the jcb let's hop in here we're a little over 50 percent wow i didn't think we would be over 50 percent okay i don't think i need to move the freight liner as the grinder is st this the wood chipper is still chipping that one Okay, so there is a here. Let's hop in here. Get there's a high country in the way. Holy cow! Went through a pole. It literally just went through a pole. That I how was the engine running right now? That is insane. There's a pole through the through the crankshaft, but she's still running. All right, there we go. Get the rest of this stuff, and it'll be way too heavy to carry. So what we're gonna need to do is kind of same thing here. Gonna come here. We'll close the teeth and then open, like kind of curl it up almost so that when you release the teeth, it hopefully it rolls down and it did. We are a little crooked though, because one side is way, way heavier than the other. All right, there we go. We'll drive here. All right, perfect. Is the grinder still running? It is. Okay, I didn't know if it would shut off if we didn't use it for that long time. But there we go. All right, set it down. Open the teeth. Oh, is it taking it? It was just about to take it on its own. That would be so nice. There we go. Beautiful. I'm sure I'm gonna have to do what I've had to have done, but it is pretty skinny. Yes. Yes, let's go. We didn't have to push it. Awesome. Okay. Where's that stump grinder? We got to grind this huge stump right here. We can't leave this on. All right. Here's the stump grinder. And there is the other tree right down there by the gas station. That's a big one. And it's also on the power line. Holy cow, guys. That is such a long tree. I'm Hopefully, the JCB can handle it. There we go. Let's turn on the stump grinder. Get this bad boy running. And then this stump will be gone in two seconds. Mm. There we go. Beautiful. Drop it down. Get our grinding. All the way down to the nub. These stump grinders are so good. There we go. You don't need to worry about anything. And you know exactly how much you took off. Okay, so there we go. JCB will step down, set down the grinder. Grab the forks. And we will move on over to this tree as we go grab the freight liner, bring it over with the chipper, and we should be able to knock this out just as fast as the other ones, but it might be a little longer. It really might be. All right, there we go. Let's hop in the freight liner. We'll wait here. We, we, we got to bring the truck, the bucket truck. I guess that's what it's called in the game. I'm sure in real life it's called something different. All right, so let's pull up right here. And then lift this bad boy up. There we go. Okay. I'm thinking we just keep backing up. There we go. We're in it. We're in in the thick of it. All right, we'll chop this down here. Hopefully, we don't damage anything. There we go. Right on the road, kind of where we wanted it. And I think we'll... I think what the plan will be is it's still kind of on the power line, but we're going to take the skid loader and kind of almost grab it and pull it out, which won't be too big a deal. Okay, let's trim this up just like we always have. Beautiful. Then, yeah, here we go, guys. We're going to knock this down 100%. Boom. Drag it off. And there we go. That works, too. We'll leave this here. Go get the freight liner. And... There she is. Enter. Now, we do need to be careful. When I set up this wood chipper, we can't have it turn too much. Otherwise, it won't automatically unload. And then it'll go to, like, 
the mess that we made earlier when we first tried to figure it out, but no big deal. Here we go. I'll pull through, I think, like, right here. Again, I just need to have it go straight. There we are. Beautiful. Is this still running after I was driving it? Yes, it is. Awesome sauce. Let's get this grinded up. And then this will be our last tree of the day along with the stump. Our last stump of the day. Guys, can I get this huge? Oh my goodness, this is going to be so big. Will the JCB be, will the JCB be able to handle it? The boy don't know. All right, let's go up with it, down like we always do. It's already giving me a run for my money. It's kind of already shaking. Little movements, keep it low. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, big cat. Okay, if we can get it up over this ledge without tipping, that would be awesome. Is it still caught on something on the... All right, perfect, perfect. Oh, oh. Okay, what we can do, what we can do. Drive forward. Cut out the teeth. There we go. That's what we like to see. Open the teeth all the way. Back out. It's actually taking it. It won't take it for long. Because it is so heavy, we've had problems with this. No big deal. We'll just come back here. Give her a tap. Guys, should we... Look at this. We can floor it and it'll literally grind it up like so quickly. There we go. Stump grinder is a beast. Wood chipper, stump grinder, same thing. No, they, they aren't the same thing at all, but I keep calling them and acting like they are. Okay, can we carry this? Or I guess we can just do this. Honestly, it's kind of easier to use the JCB even for things that we can carry because you can see kind of like what's going on and stuff. All right, we can go through that pole there. Should we go skinny side in first? I guess I don't want to do a 180 and twirl around. Are we on it? No, we are not. All right, back up and over. All right, is it pulling it in? It looks like it is slowly pulling it in, but it is a little crooked, so we're going to have to help it out. Make sure it feeds in correct and that we, like, don't damage anything. There we go. Now it's going. Are we stuck? Eat it. Come on, baby. This isn't good. She's going in sideways, guys. All right, there we go. Now it's feeding it in good. Let's go get our stump grinder. We are going to get out of here. Oh, my goodness, guys. We have so many wood chips. We'll be just giving it to the city so that, like, this spring, or I guess it is springtime. So they'll be able to, like, re-wood chip, like, places like parks, um, anything that takes wood chips as a bedding, uh, recess areas, playgrounds, stuff like that. Really good for that kind of stuff. There we go. Let's turn on the grinder. It's literally like a huge chainsaw on a machine. Kind of dangerous, not gonna lie. Having it turned on while I'm driving, but you gotta risk it for the biscuit. All right, there we go. And we are grinding. Beautiful. Take it all the way down to the ground. And that will be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy a storm cleanup video. It was actually pretty cool how we could get the wood chipper working really really nice mod i was really happy with how it worked thanks again for watching guys peace out enter the xbox giveaway if you haven't already thanks for watching bye